Okay, my name's uh, Mark Ellison. I work for the Wyoming State Forestry Division, and I'm a resource forester. Uh, today we're at the Adams property. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, aspen health in the Rocky Mountains. Um, as you can see, this stand behind me is fairly, fairly typical of what we see in the Rocky Mountain West. Um, as a result of the seclusion of fire due to su fire suppression, a lot of our aspen stands um, are fairly decadent, unhealthy, and are being overrun by coniferous species such as the limber pine you see here, also sagebrush, juniper, those types of things. And so uh, aspen, um, as far as its health, um, as far as its age, tends to um, be healthy for 80 to 100 years and then be, needs a, a fire or some type of large-scale disturbance to regenerate it. And um, this stand you, you're looking at here all is on the same root system. And so um, with a fire moving through here that kills the, um, the mature trees, it regenerates the roots. And so the roots sends up suckers and then the, the tree kind of um, sustains itself or the root system sustains itself that way. And so with the seclusion of fire and with um, conifer encroachment, a lot of our aspen stands are in this kind of condition. So looking at this entire property, um, uh, what landowners should consider is um, if they want to improve the health of their aspen is, is look at the entire property, find out which aspen stands are fairly healthy that have a good chance of regenerating themselves. Now in this stand in, in uh, particular what I look at as far as um, whether it's in good health or not is how many suckers or how many small trees are actually growing thriving and getting to a height of around 10 feet. That's usually the height they, that they um, get out of the reach of uh, elk and moose and, and, and cattle and that sort of thing. And in this stand there aren't a lot of small healthy trees so I would consider this stand fairly unhealthy and decadent. So what the landowner could do in this situation to kind of invigorate the aspen is go through, remove the conifers, remove some of the sagebrush that's competing with the aspen and then also um, cut a lot of the, the healthy aspen and by doing that you're going to see a, a flush of suckers from the root system. Um, another thing, um, depending on how it regenerates, if it doesn't regenerate that well, if there's a lot of grazing that's occurring um, from cattle or from large game, um, then you'd want to try to fence out this aspen stand to give those um, suckers, those smaller trees, a, a, a better chance to um, grow into the overstory. So that's, that's, a, that's a, um, a definitely an alternative that they, they can do. Another one is prescribed fire. Um, a lot of our larger um, land management agencies are using prescribed fire to regenerate aspen stands with, with a lot of success.